what's up welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Danielle and I have two kids and a baby that's due this December so I want to share with you guys the tips that I did to get my kids prepared for this back to school year I have a new kindergartner and a second grader and we wanted to get them well prepared before school started and believe it or not my kids have already started school they are actually on a year-round school schedule which just means they have two weeks off for every school break that they have. So they're out two weeks for their fall break in October, their winter break, and their spring break as well. So they have to go back to school a little earlier in the summer. They started July 27th, and their school year has been going great so far. It's only been a week, but they have been doing really well. So I want to share with you guys what I did to get them prepared for this school year. This video is in collaboration with a bunch of ladies here on YouTube. Miss Wanda Amechi is hosting this video. She came up with this great idea and her co-host is Sierra from Just Being Sierra. So I'm going to have their channels linked below along with a playlist of the other videos of other moms sharing all their tricks and tips of getting their kids ready. So don't forget to check out their videos after you watch mine. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing if you are enjoying the mommy vibes. And let's go ahead and get right into the video. My first tip for you guys is to get your kids back on a sleep schedule if you're lenient in the summer like we are. Our kids got used to staying up late at night. So the first thing we did two weeks before school started was starting to put them to bed earlier, taking their iPads at a certain time once they have laid down for a while and had a chance to calm down. We took their iPads around a certain time so they can start to fall asleep earlier at night and then eventually get up earlier in the morning and just kind of work their way back into a school sleep schedule. So that really worked well for us this year. Um, it was a little tricky for my kindergartner, but he, he ended up getting it. Um, and then the next thing you guys I did was go shopping, of course, at our favorite store, Target, a few times. But we also went to Burlington, the Nike outlet, and Carter's to get their school supplies and school clothes so they can be set for school. We did a little shopping on Amazon as well, but I decided to hang all my kids' clothes in their closet in one section. That way it made it easier to see what was new and what was for back at school each morning. My second grader loves to pick out her own outfits, so I hung everything mainly for her in one spot so she can go through each morning and pick out what she likes and what she wants to wear that morning. It also makes it easier for me when I'm grabbing out my son Jason's clothes in the morning. I know it's all in one section and it's just easy to get to. So for school supplies, I got a few extra things that my kids would be able to use at home for their homework. So mainly colored pencils, crayons, and markers just due to the age of my kids. They use a lot of that every day for their homework and a pencil sharpener. We can never have enough pencil sharpeners in our house. So I just put them all in one area so they can easily find them. When it's time to do their homework, they can just grab this little bucket right here best thing I did this year that I did not do the last two years was take my kids school supplies on meet the teacher night it actually said on the meet the teacher night kids kindergarten through second grade should bring their school supplies at meet the teacher night and the older kids could bring theirs the uh, day of school starting and it helps out so much because kindergartners and little first and second graders trying to carry in um, Ziploc bags, you know, wipes and toilet paper, all that is not the easiest thing for them. So me packing everything up and taking it in the day that they met the teacher was a big help. The last thing I did, you guys, was prepare the kids for lunch. I had my kindergartner practice opening up his sister's bento box. He got his own this year, so I wanted to make sure he can open it during lunchtime. We did practice it for a few days before school started just to make sure he was comfortable with it and wouldn't open it and everything fall out. He's been doing fine um, since he's been to school. However, he has left his lunchbox at school for three days within the five days he's been there. So that you can't prepare your kids for. It happens, but we're working on that. But I did make sure he was able to open his lunchbox. And then, guys, right before school started the night before, I started to prep some of the things I know I would be taking in my kids' lunch that week. For example, cucumbers, peppers, and strawberries. I went ahead and cut them up, cleaned them so they'd be ready to go. And it wasn't something I had to do in the morning. Making lunches can be time consuming. And I just wanted to make sure I could just grab it right out the refrigerator and throw it in their bento box and keep it moving. 
and that is going to be it you guys for this video i hope you found it helpful please let me know in the comments what tip you liked best or your best tip that you have for your back to school season some of you guys might be more seasoned or better organized than me and have some great tips and i would love to read them in the comments don't forget to check out the other ladies videos and thank you guys so much for watching